Flashlight is a mod in Osu which reduces the visibility of the screen to a small circle around the player's cursor. This area around the cursor only makes it slightly harder for objects close together, but as they get farther, memorization is needed to perform well. The circle of visibility also reduces in size when the player builds up 100 and then 200 combo, making it even more difficult to see. For your efforts in memorization, you are rewarded with extra score and even extra performance points. That's the basic summary of Flashlight. Nowadays, there are some incredible plays set using this mod, even some which make you question human limits, but its past was spotted by a back and forth between the developer of OS and cheaters who abused Flashlight. Flashlight was added to the game on August 14th, 2008, and was adopted over time by players who wanted number one positions on beatmaps or to gain extra rank score due to the high score multiplier. When there is a competitive game, there are bound to be cheaters, and OS in the early days was no different. As a small community, the best solution at the time was to have a forum thread where people could post suspicious scores. Peppy, the developer of OS, would look over these posts periodically and make bans when foul play was found. The growth of OS would make this much more difficult though, in sheer volume of cheaters and eventually detectability of cheats. Still. Whenever possible, Peppy and the other OS staff would ban people they found cheating manually via player reports. Soon enough, this would come to a head with Flashlight. As it turns out, Flashlight cheats were quite easy to make since it only really affected what the player was able to see. If someone was to modify the game's files so that there was no overlay which hid the notes, then they could get free score for playing the exact same map. Come mid-2010, a public cheat would be released that abused this exact flaw and made it so anyone could exploit it. Quickly, many new flashlight scores cropped up on leaderboards all over the game, most cheated of course. Realizing just how rampant flashlight cheating had become, Peppy quickly put a stop to it in a massive way. He disabled score submission for all flashlight scores until there was a solution, meaning no new flashlight scores would be saved to the database or shown on leaderboards. Permanent removal of the mod was considered when weighing the options, but in the end it was decided against. What was opted for was another form thread for reporting these scores, well, presumably an anti-cheat was developed in secret. Flashlight score submission would go on to be enabled again while in the coming years an anti-cheat to detect modified game files was rolled out. The next time Foul Play came up with Flashlight, it actually was due to an oversight built into the game itself. In a nutshell, the gamma setting on a computer monitor changes the luminance curve of the picture. All you really need to know is that in OS, turning gamma up can make very dark images bright. Famously, this helps players read higher AR, as hit objects are fading in, they are brightened and seem to appear earlier and for longer. I bring this up because around 2012, players figured out that Gamma also did something interesting to Flashlight. The overlay which hides the notes had a large gradient edge which meant a big portion wasn't fully opaque. Consequently, turning the gamma up revealed notes on the edge of the visible area which could not normally be seen. Many players abused this, and this time it wasn't detectable since gamma is a setting for monitors which anyone can change. Once Peppy caught wind of this in mid-2013, he knew he had to do something about the players abusing this unfair advantage. He could have just fixed the overlay and left it at that, but that's no fun. Peppy's solution was modifying the overlay so that the gradient was smaller, but the area that was normally visible was actually slightly larger. Anyone complaining about the area being quote-unquote smaller was then outed for abusing Gamma. Most notably though, Peppy left a secret message spinning around on the screen rapidly which only Gamma abusers would be able to see. This was only in-game for a short time, but it served its purpose of distracting them and sending a message about using Gamma. The battle between game developers and cheaters is eternal, a constant arms race with each side trying to stay one step ahead of the other. In OS, hundreds of restrictions are handed out every day for cheating activity, and this will probably remain the case until the end of time. These stories of how Flashlight was used for cheating are only a small footnote in that ongoing fight. Although infrequent, the times where developers are able to get back at the cheaters in an entertaining way are satisfying to see. 
and knowing Peppy's sense of humor, we're bound to encounter something like this again.